You know, public speakers have a desire to reach massive audiences. We all do. We all know that. We want to share a message to reach the most people that we can. We want the big auditoriums, the crowded rooms. But today, I'm going to tell you about a secret that the greatest public speakers know about. When they reach a large audience or a small audience, they're doing one thing really, really well that transforms them into the great speakers. That's why they get the phone calls, that's why they get the speaking requests, and that's why they're also making some of the best money out there. So today, I encourage you to stick around, and we're going to talk about the secret of public speaking. Hey, it's the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Welcome back for another Leaders and Communicators, and I'm going to help you today defy the odds on public speaking. We're going to share one of the biggest secrets that not many people really tell you about when it comes to really attracting people to your message and getting your message out there. And it will help you get more gigs and more opportunities to share your message. Now, I've got 25 years of public speaking experience. I've done it as a leader, motivational speaker, sports broadcasting, and as a pastor. I've had the microphone going for a long time, and I've had done it in front of large crowds and small crowds. So I've learned a little bit about what it takes to communicate in these different settings. But there's one big theme that transcends all those different arenas. I want you to stick around to the very end. I'm going to have a free booklet at the end to help you get further into this one big secret. All I ask is that you go all the way to the very end. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Maybe share it with someone that might need to know more about public speaking. If this has been a help to you, hey, I'd be happy to hear from you. Also, give me a question. Give me a comment. What are your thoughts on this big secret of public speaking? Maybe you know a trick or two that might help somebody else as well. So, let's get right into it. The first thing I want you to know is, if you're going to speak, you got to know your target. Now, I'm not talking about your target audience, because you can put people into a room and never reach your target. What you need to do is, you need to know who you are speaking to. Like, if it's a one person. If you were going to speak to one person about your topic, what do you need to know about that one that would help you better communicate? What are their desires? What are their pains? What are their goals in life? What are their shortcomings in life? What are the things that they need to overcome that you have life experience, that you have training and experience, that you can bring to that one person to help them rise up and go to the next level in whatever field it is. Now, you may speak to a lot of people, but you got to know about the one. Now, second thing I want you to understand is you got to learn the language. Every person has their own language. Every subculture has their language. Now, yeah, you might have a German audience or an Australian audience or an American audience. Now, you got to learn the language for that, of course. But I'm talking about the language of the people that you want to reach. I've had the privilege of reaching out to recovery addicts and to ex-cons. They have their own language, by the way. And you have to understand what they're saying within their soul culture. Now, once you get to know that lingo, and if you can really relate it and speak in it, they will relax with you. They will get to know you. They will embrace you and want to hear from you. One of those words is the word normal. I had no idea what they were kept saying that uh, there's normals out there, there's normals. One day they finally told me, Rich, you're a normal, but you're a normal that understands us, and therefore you're one of us. It was the best thing in the world to hear that I actually had unlocked their language, and therefore I could reach in and get to their hearts and minds and the message that I was trying to give them. Learn the language. And the final thing is, learn to be personable. No matter how large the crowd, the greatest speakers know how to take that 1,000 people out in the seats and boil it down to the spotlight is on the one. They feel you're talking to them intimately and you're having a cup of coffee. It feels like you're just having a one-on-one -on -one dialogue and everyone else in the room has disappeared and you get that sense of, and we've all had this. We've all had this experience of like, wow, how did they know I was thinking that? Wow. 
Did they even know I was going through that struggle this week? How did they know that? Or, that's the thing I've been missing all my life. If you can turn that large room into that coffee shop conversation, that personal one-on-one, if you can answer those questions they long to hear, address those emotions, you become a friend, even though you're on a platform. Even though you may actually might not ever shake their hand or meet them personally, you have done something that is amazing, mysterious, almost supernatural at times. Great speakers know how to do that. They know how to take the massive room and boil it down to one person because they know who they're talking to, they know their language, and they know how to relate and make it personable. Now, I've got a little bit more to give you in my little booklet about the secret of public speaking. So go down below, give me a comment. Hey, Rich, this made sense. This didn't make sense. Are there any other secrets, Rich, that we need to know to be public speakers that make a larger impact? Because the goal of public speaking is not just to have another speaking gig. I believe we want to make impact. We want to change lives. We want to help people. So to do this, we must do it better. And to do it better, we got to share our secrets to help make us all better. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and share this with anyone that you may know that might need to know more about public speaking. Oh, and don't forget, there's that little bell right by the subscribe button. Hit that bell, and you're never going to miss another one of my speakers, leaders, or Defying the Odd Talks. I help you defy the odds, whatever area you are in, to improve yourself to go to the next level. Until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. God bless, and have a great week.